hello everyone welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to model a wall-based lighting fixture it will be parametric so we can control its height and also its lighting so let's start create a new family in generic model press un and set your unit first go to length and change it to metric and put rounding on two decimal places we are going to first start with back plate, so we need to use this revolve for it. Go to left view and do your axis exactly on this line. Zoom in and click on this boundary line. First, I'm going to create a line from this center to here in 5 cm dimension. Then I'm going to complete it with some other lines. You can do it with the same sizes that I used in here or you can do it with whatever size that you want. Now we can close it and hit finish. Let's go to 3D view to see how it looks. Okay, if you want you can create fillets in these parts or in these parts too. Before we move on to the next part, we are going to select it and create a parameter for its material. Click on this part and create a new one with, let's go with metal because I want it to be a metallic backplate and OK. Now let's go to left view again and create the arm. So for this we are going to use this sweep but before we use that I'm going to create a line with this model. Starting from this point I will create a 5 cm line in this part and another 12 or 13 centimeter line up to here with 5 or 6 centimeter offset like this i'm going to go down with 2 or 3 more centimeter more than this part to here i'm going to delete this line and create a start and radius circle arc from this point to here like this and for this part, I will fillet it. So I'm going to use this option here and click on these two lines and draw the arc with the size that you want. Now we can actually use this sweep. So first click on this sketch pass and with this pick line, now we can select these lines easily. Click on all of them and hit finish. Go to edit profile in probably front view let's zoom in and do a very simple circle it should be smaller than this circle here so i'm going to put it on three and hit finish okay the next part is for holder the shade holder or the bulb holder both of them for this again we are going to go to left view and we are going to use this revolve again draw our axis line in this line exactly and then with boundary line we are going to draw our shape in this side of the line so i'm going to start from this part and according to the overall size of your lighting you can draw lines you can use all of these tools for drawing the shape that you want i'm going to go with something like this now let's hit finish and go to 3d view okay it looks good Again, as we created the parameter for this part's material, you can create it for this part and this part too. You can make them separate or you can just simply select them and use the same parameter for these parts too. I also want to add a chain for this part for turning it on or off, but I'm going to create another generic model for this. So create a new family and go to its left view. Zoom in and select this revolve again. Draw your axis line in this part and with this boundary line we are going to draw a arc, a very small arc, as small as possible like this. Move it up to this part and lock it with this reference line. Now we are going to close it like this and hit finish. If you change the visual style to shade it, you can see it like this. 
Now I'm going to create a reference plan in this part and then I'm going to select it and use this array for copying it to this part. Select it and click on it. Make sure it's on linear and put it on this last mode. Click on this part first and then in here. First, let's put it on 50. I think we might need a little bit more like 70 okay for this last part i want to create a bigger one so i'm going to use this revolve again draw its axis on here select a start and radius arc and draw one from this point to probably here make sure you close it like this and hit finish now we can load it into the project let's first put it in here and go to left view i want it to be exactly in this part so i'm going to create a reference plan exactly on this line and then i'm going to lock this line with this part I want to also create another reference plan in this part and lock it with this line too. We also need to set it from this front view. So click on this align again and lock it with this line too. Go to 3D view to see how it looks. Okay, I think it looks good. Now the main part which is the shades. So for this also we need to go to left view and first of all i'm going to draw a reference plan in this part and also another one in here again we are going to use this revolve draw your axis line in this part and then with boundary line i'm going to draw a something like cylinder in this part to here our bulb the main bulb will be in this part which we are going to model it later but first we need to model our shade in this family one line from this part to here and down to this part then i'm going to fillet it like this then i'm going to use this peak line and offset of like two millimeter for creating the glass for this and i'm going to use this start end radius and i'm going to do a very small circle like this in here and then i will close the line like this move it down a little bit and now you can hit finish mirror it up like this move it to this part and go to its edit i'm going to delete this line first and also this circle because the thickness of the glass will be the same but the shape is going to be different so first i'm going to scale it down like this and make it smaller then i'm going to move it closer to this part exactly and with this big line and offset of two millimeter create another line around it and close it the same we did for this part and hit finish the third shade is going to be in this part so again click on revolve and do your axis exactly on this line then use this boundary line to do your shape all of these different parts can have different shapes so be creative and play with them until you find the best form for your shades i draw it with two lines one in this part and another one in this part and with this sp line i'm going to connect them together now with this pick line and offset of two millimeter draw its thickness and then simply close it with a line in this part and a circle in here hit finish and let's go to the 3d part okay it's good but i think we need to move it down to here so go to its edit revolve and move it down to here if you want you can also make it a smaller perfect this is the overall form and i think it looks so cool but this is only a model a generic model 
and we need to add lighting too and also we need to make it wall based so create a new family in lighting fixture wall based first set your unit and then load this family to the new one rotate it with a space and for now let's put it in here i want to create a new reference plan exactly on this wall and let's change its name to simply wall now i'm going to align this line with this part and lock it then again i will align it with this part and also from this left view i'm going to move it up to here as you can see the source the part we have our source is in this part and the part that we need to lock it with the height the overall height is in here so we need to create another reference plan in this part first and lock this one with here then we can control this dimension this distance between them so first click on this part and then here and lock it now if we zoom in we can move this line light source down or up and also we can move it to right or left to have it exactly on the center now first i'm going to align it with this line here and lock it and also i'm going to move this one up to inside this shade and then i'm going to create a parameter for this part it will be a fixed dimension so i'm going to lock it with this number i also want to create another dimension from this point to this ref level here and we are going to turn it into the height parameter so select it and click on this part here let's just simply call it height now if we change its size to for example 1.8 all of these parts will move together perfectly last part in here is the light bulb so go to create and use this revolve again draw your axis exactly on this part and then beat boundary line start drawing your bulb in here i'm going to use this as line again because it's very easy to control and i'm going to draw a shape simply like this then for its thickness, I'm going to use this pick line and offset of 1 millimeter in here. Then close it with simple lines in this part and also in here. Now we can hit finish. If you go to this family type here, we only have this bulb material. And if you want to have the shade and also the metal material in here, we need to first select the family and then in this edit type we need to click on this part and create a new parameter let's call this one again glass and this one metal okay now if we go to this family type we have all of these materials and also this height parameter for controlling its height For testing it, we need to load it into a new project. So click on this part and select this new project that I had just created. Now you see if I move it all over this view, it is not working. But if I move it to these walls, this part and also these parts, it will attach to them. Let's put it on this part and move closer. Now if you select it and go to its edit type, you can change all of these materials. I'm going to go to this metal and for this part we need to create a new material. Let's simply call it zero metal. For its material, I'm going to go to the library and from this metal section, I will select the chrome material, this one. For this glass material, again I will create a new one and, and in this asset browser I will go to glass section. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see this glass in here. 
but i don't want to use it with this color so i'm going to change its color to something pink like this and okay for this bulb again we need to create a new material and simply i'm going to select the clear white glass for it maybe this one okay and okay let's go to inkscape to see if it's working or not perfect it looks so good so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial bye